they cap those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Okay, we froze one of those guys. Is there another one somewhere? of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. <clears throat> if the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Yikes, this place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I think that's everything here. Wanna get going? It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither Valir. <laughs> it's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. What a draw. Father, uh, up there. Right there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <laughs> Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. <laughs> it's clinging to the wall. We gotta knock it down. Poison at your back. <laughs> Think you can uncover that geyser from here? I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. I still don't see how we can get up to that chain. <laughs> nice one. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find.
lad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tear is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. We talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. If these cobblestones could talk, then they'd have mouths. <laughs> Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? <sighs> Ugh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain materials. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. Yeah. 
Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in Nita Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Hey, Sean! <laughs> Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. One less feathery spy. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. At your service. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? What can I make for you? No, it's fine. I don't mind you standing around like that. I'll disinfect my tools. Everything all right? I'll heat up the forge. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Be safe! Another of Cavassia's poems. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it, but knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? 
Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Mm, let's just keep moving. I think I see something. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Leave! This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. <sighs> Very well. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off.
come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well... I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Now that's a big statue.
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. That dragon sculpture's not bad. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. Whatever you need. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. One of the mining rigs is here? See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. Bloody Draugr holes! We've got to clear out all these undead spiders! <laughs>
behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. got some relics of the dwarven resistance i'll take them off your hands that ought to hurt him whatever you need i'll create till we meet again There's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Left flank! Poison! Oh! 
Chuck a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <sighs> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. 